Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. Now, I know I just did one yesterday of the Chaos Awakens mod, uh, but today I wanted to do a small complimentary mod that actually is a pretty neat mod and something that I think should be added into every mod pack these days because it was brought to my attention the other day that I didn't use this when I was reviewing the Chaos Awakens mod and that it might have been helpful. So... I figured I would do a quick showcase on it today. Now keep in mind this current mod is only available version 1.16.3 and above, not 1.16.5. I am in 1.16.5, so there might be a little bit of glitches with it. Otherwise, let's start showing off the Just Enough Resources mod. So for those who might remember, this was also used to be called the Not Enough Resources mod back when Not Enough Items was a thing, but now that Just Enough Items is the main thing, uh, it's now called Just Enough Resources. And what this mod does is essentially tells you exactly where to find specific items in the world whether they be mob drops or maybe they um have certain kinds of generation or maybe they're only found in dungeon chests and stuff so we're going to be checking that out and if you guys have been enjoying the mod showcases on the channel be sure to smash the like button show your support and uh maybe consider subscribing if you are new and let's get right into this so I have a bunch of items in front of me right now, some modded, some not. Uh, also keep in mind, I do have Chaos Awakens installed for this to give you guys kind of an example how it would work with the modded. But essentially what you do is you go to an item and hit U on it like you would normally do, or not U, um, R. You would hit R on it like you're trying to look for its crafting recipe or something, but since it doesn't have one, it actually brings up this little interface here and tells you exactly where you can find it. So as you can see, it says mob drops from just enough items. So this item, this prismarine shard is only a mob drop. It can be dropped by the elder guardian and found in any biome. Well, actually that's a lie. It spawns in depot. Anyway, uh, light level, any experience drop 10. So it tells you a little bit about the mob and it also tells you its drops. Now as you can see, Pris prismarine shard, zero out of two uh, affected by looting. So if you have looting on your sword or something, it tells you it has an increased chance. And as you can see, there's other things um, that it drops. And as you can see, it says the percentile of the drops. It says how much it can drop. It's actually really cool. Um, but we're just talking about the pr prismarine shard, so that's what we want to know. Next up for the guardian, spawns in any biome, again, that's a lie. Experience drop 10. Um, again, it has a 0 out of 2 chance, like, is, it can drop from 0 to 2 prismarine shards and affected by looting, and here is the other drops that it can drop. So again, really cool, I like how the clownfish has a 2% chance of dropping. Um, but yeah, really cool thing, and that is the prismarine shard, how you get it. Uh, next up is the apple. So if you're wondering how to get an apple, there are multiple ways you can find it in dungeon chests. In village worksmith, it has it can come in three to eight stacks, uh, and then village plains house three to eight stacks. So what that basically means is you can find three to eight of them, and the percent chance of it dropping is uh oh I know what it's saying by three to eight stacks. It's saying like in the chest it can be rearranged around, but it can only give you one to three and um. It's 15% chance in there, and it has a 23% chance from 1 to 3 in the village plains house. So that's interesting to know. I actually didn't know that. So it's kind of funny learning about this from this mod. Uh, mob drop, since I have the um, the beautiful Chaos Awakens mod installed, we have the apple cows. So we have the uh, normal apple cow that can spawn in any biome. It, has, it drops 1 to 3 XP, and it can drop 2 to 4 apples affected by looting. And then the golden apple cow which can drop two to four apples affected by looting. And you can see the other drops like so, which is actually really cool. Again, I like this. Uh, villager trades, if you find a farmer villager for um, emeralds, you can get four apples. Really cool. Again, it even talks about that. Golden apple, um, dungeon chests. It can be found in a regular dungeon. You can get zero to one of them with an 11% chance. And in a mine shaft, you have a 28% chance of getting zero to one of them in those chests. Really cool to note. And mob drops again, golden apple cow. We already saw it. It has a one to two, it can drop one to two of them. And it doesn't have a percentage, which means it's guaranteed to drop at least one. Good to note. Next up is the emerald, which has a lot of stuff to cover. First things first, dungeon chest. The end city has a 2.4% chance of dropping two to six of them. And the village armorer. Uh, has a zero has a twelve percent chance to drop zero to one of them. Mob drops. Uh, we have two mobs here. We have a modded mob and a vanilla mob. The Emerald Gator from Chaos Awakens has a ten percent chance to drop one, and then the Evoker, um, as we know from Vanilla Minecraft, has a one hundred percent chance to drop zero to one of them. Very interesting to note. 
Um, villager trades, as you can see, we have a lot of villager trades, so I'm not going to run through all of them, but you can just kind of, you know, pause and look and understand. Uh, next up, we have the world gen. So this is exactly how the ore will spawn. So it says it has a 0.08% chance of spawning the ore at these at these biomes, in case you guys didn't know, and it has always a, it always has an average of dropping one. Again, very nice to uh, note all of that. Next up, we have some raw beef. If you guys didn't know, the village butcher uh, can can the village butcher chest, I guess, has a twenty one percent chance to drop one to three of them. Very nice mob drops. We have the normal cow and the apple cow that have actually all the cows. All the cows can drop them. <laughs> uh, the golden apple cow has can drop one to three. Uh, the mushroom can drop one to three. The regular apple cow can drop one to three, and the regular cow can drop one to three. So all the cows drop one to three, in case you guys didn't know. Raw pork chops. Dungeon chests. We have the village butcher has a 21% chance of dropping one to three, and the bastion hoglin stable has a 7.1% chance of dropping two to five. Very neat to know. <laughs> and of course, we have the hoglin, which it can drop two to four, and the pig itself can drop two to three. Very neat. I'm actually learning a lot about this. Raw rabbit. Fun fact, only the rabbit can drop raw rabbit. Uh, and it has a zero and it can drop zero to one of them. 10% chance on the rabbit's foot though. Very nice. And we have a ruby from Chaos Awakens. I just wanted to show you guys the mob drop, just so you guys are aware. It does register that. Now, one thing I noticed is the Chaos Awakens mod, it's not registering the ore with Chaos Awakens, like if I searched Ruby Ore, it says it doesn't exist in the world, but it does. I've seen some of the ore spawning. Um, so that just might be a glitch on one mod versus the other. I don't know for sure, but I'm just saying with modded, it can be a little buggy, it seems. 10% um, chance of dropping from the Ruby bug. It's actually kind of funny and slightly embarrassing because when I was going over the mod yesterday, I, uh, I missed a few things because of that, because I was killing mobs and I was like, oh, they're not dropping anything. Yes, they can't drop anything. And then I was informed, no, they actually just have a rare chance of dropping some of the stuff. But anyway, iron ore. If you guys didn't know, iron ore has a 98% uh, chance of spawning throughout this entire level. Um, it says 0.98, but I think that just means 98% chance. Uh, gold ore, 20% chance. Uh... In just the overworld. Oh, it's saying just throughout the entire pool of blocks. It's saying a 0 0.2. But then when you actually go to the biomes, it's a 1.43% chance with those biomes. I think I'm reading that correctly. I could be wrong. I'm not I'm not used to reading these kinds of graphs. Um, diamonds, 0.17% chance. Silk touch needed. It's saying to get the ore though. And as you guys can see with the Y levels, it literally says Y level... Uh, 16 to 17 actually it's y level 16 and then after that there is none so that's the y levels i'm reading uh ruby ore as you can see literally as you go up with the y levels the chances of it ever become slimmer and slimmer i think the last y level that redstone could spawn in is 18 if you guys didn't know that uh fun fact right there um and then we have nether gold ore which it actually isn't registering which is interesting to note Again, I think this mod has to be manually updated with newer stuff in Minecraft. So if it doesn't register a few things, that might be why. Um, wheat seeds, it does do that too. So Village Fisher um, chest ha has a 27% chance of dropping 1 to 3. Village Savannah House has a 21% has a chance of dropping uh, 1 to 5. And you can also uh, plant it. It says like the information about planting it. And you can do like the same things with the with the wheat and whatnot. Same with beetroot seeds. Uh, end city chests have a 5.9% chance of dropping 1 to 10. And a dungeon chest has a 8% chance of dropping 2 to 4. And again, it says if you plant it, this is what you get from it um, if you harvest the plant fully and stuff. So that's really cool. But uh, other than that, I don't really want to go over everything in Minecraft. I don't want this to be a super long video. So I figured I'd go over some of the highlights. But yeah. This is a pretty fun um, mod. It does need to be, I think, slightly updated to the final version of 1.16, but it just got a port to 1.16, so that's probably why it's a little bit buggy. I probably should review the 1.12 version, but I did want to do the most recent, just so you guys are aware it's in the most recent version. But I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, share support, consider subscribing if you are new. And as always, if you want to download this mod for yourselves, it will be linked down below in the description. So I hope you all have a great day. 
Stay safe. Goodbye.